Balancing Rock is perched high upon the Book Cliffs overlooking Helper, Utah. Situated in Carbon County on the east side of the Wasatch Mountains, Helper is a railroad town, as the name strongly suggests. Both a division point and crew change point on today's Union Pacific, Helper also serves as a station stop for Amtrak's California Zephyr. Crew offices are located near the west end of the yard and a set of Helper engines idle nearby. In a tradition dating back to the late 1800s with the Rio Grande narrow gauge, manned helpers are still used to get heavy trains up the 2.4% grade to Soldier Summit. A westbound coal train will soon be arriving, the day's first assignment for these three GEs. At the west end of the yard, we see a clear signal on Main 1 for UP 6702. The lead engineer tells the helper engineer they are ready to depart. 6702 helps, here we go, over. All right, we're shoving, over. We see the three helpers working mid-train. Two additional radio-controlled engines shove hard on the rear of the train as it heads for the Price River Canyon at milepost 627.3. Partially hidden behind a signal bridge are a string of tank cars sitting in a yard belonging to the Utah Railway. Formed in 1912 to serve several coal mines in the area, the Utah Railway operates daily over Soldier Summit and has trackage rights over the UP between Provo, Utah and Grand Junction, Colorado. This yard is located along the Utah Railway's 45-mile-long Moreland Branch, which ties into the UP at Utah Railway Junction. Called URJ for short by railroaders, Utah Railway Junction is located just west of Helper at milepost 628.8. Utah Railway 5005 appears at URJ with a heavy coal train in tow. The 5005's new paint scheme reflects the railroad's parent company, the Genesee in Wyoming, which purchased the Utah Railway in 2002. The train has permission from UP Dispatcher 78 in Omaha, Nebraska to enter the Provo sub as it slowly approaches the junction.
five units on the point were originally built by Morris and Knudsen in 1994 as MK 5000s. These locomotives came with a 5,000 horsepower Caterpillar engine, which proved unreliable and was later replaced with a 3,500 horsepower EMD prime mover. Utah Railway owns six of these engines, which are all reclassified as MK50-3s. They still have their Morrison Knudsen look about them, but if you listen carefully, you'll know they are EMD SD50s at heart. The train stops to have six swing helpers cut in for the heavy grade ahead. The cars are separated back in the yard and the train pulls ahead for a short distance. With the helpers added, the engineer sounds a whistle, and the climb to Soldier Summit begins. It's a downhill run from Utah Railway Yard to the junction. As soon as the train enters the UP, the climb begins. Five EMD SD50s and the sixth MK50-3 smoke it up as the engineer on the swing helpers comes out on the throttle, commanding an additional 21,000 horsepower to the middle of the train. The Utah Railway is seen again, as UR-5005 leads another heavy coal train up the grade past Castle Gate. Though the engines are in notch 8, or full throttle, the train slows as it enters the heavy grade.
By the time the mid-train helpers arrive, the 104-car train has slowed considerably, feeling the impact of the heavy grade. Castle Gate gets its name from a tall spire that looks like a giant gate guarding the entrance to the Price River Canyon. There used to be two, but the left gate was removed during the construction of what is now Highway 6. The remaining formation makes a nice backdrop as a former Southern Pacific GE leads an empty coal train downgrade on its way to Helper. Winter in the Wasatch Mountains brings a blanket of snow as icy winds chisel through the jagged walls of the canyon. The brunt of the storm is being felt on the west side, with near whiteout conditions at the summit. The lower end of the Price River Canyon is somewhat protected from the storm's fury as an eastbound empty coal train heads down Main 2. Maximum grade on the east side of Soldier Summit is 2.4%. Another westbound manifest digs in for the climb as it passes the crossovers at Lynn. Utah Railway coal trains always put on a great show as they climb through the Price River Canyon. Five MK50-3s on the point and six more units in the middle are spilling their guts in run eight, making for a combined 38,500 horsepower. This is the sight and sound of mountain railroading in the Wasatch.
The train approaches the Nolan Tunnels at milepost 636.1 on the number one track. We return to Nolan Tunnels in the wintertime. BNSF Provo to Denver Q train heads down grade on Main 2. BNSF has trackage rights over Soldier Summit and runs manifest trains daily between Provo and Denver. This meet illustrates the benefit of a double track mainline as neither train has to wait in a siding for the other to pass. Dropping down into the canyon at Cayune, we see the Utah Railway 5005 charging up Main 1 with westbound coal loads.
The Price River hides under a blanket of snow, while UP 7446 East takes an empty coal train through Cayune. UR-5004 leads westbound coal loads with mid-train helpers through Colton. The train will soon reach the top of the grade at Soldier Summit. You have been watching a segment of Soldier Summit. If you would like to see the full two-hour program, it is available on DVD, high-definition Blu-ray, and digital download at 7ideaproductions.com. There is a link in the description below. Be sure to like and subscribe to watch more programs like this added weekly. And as always, until next time, thanks for watching.